Welcome to my channel, bro. Red Track. If you like this video, I should subscribe to support the channel, grow spiritually, connect with your higher self every single day. So, what I want to talk about in this video is the Day Clone Tyrone movie. Niggas just watched it, you feel me? You know, I keep hearing noise about it, you feel me? So, like, listen to me, bro. If you have not watched the movie, bro, do not watch this video. Disclaimer. If you have not watched the Day Clone Tyrone movie, do not watch this video, bro. I'm about to spoil it, you feel me? So, if you keep watching and you get spoiled, this is on you. Bro, watch the movie, bro, without me even, bro, watch the movie. But for those who watch the movie, bro, they put, man, listen to me, bro. They, bro, people will swear to God that we lying about, you know, they, they call us conspiracy theorists and label us conspiracy theorists or, or you know, they this the, the woke community, the conscious community. But then they got, then they put, then, then the, the government will literally put out, Netflix will literally, these big streaming platforms will literally put out movies that confirm everything we talking about, literally. But the thing is, when you watch, they can't. You can't just sit here and say, "Oh, it's just a movie." But they psychologically explain everything, bro. Like literally. So, so this, this so the, the the movie, bro. It's about a it's about a drug dealer, a a, a drug dealer, a hoe, and a a pimp, and they basically they basically clicking up and they basically trying to solve a mystery of what's going on right the main character name is fontaine so, well i'm gonna just speak how it is his name is fontaine in that spectrum of reality it, uh basically he see he, he starts seeing a lot of weird stuff and he find, he runs across you know weird stuff like you feel me and he starts trying to put the pieces together that's basically but listen to me bro I'm about to just break this down to the best way I can to what I seen myself from watching the damn movie, right? So for one, they literally tell you, like, I wanted, like, bro, on a deeper level, like, listen to me, if you have not watched the movie, do not watch this video. But look, look, peep game, peep game. You gotta understand that people around you is like clones, though. Like, they, y'all just like, now let me explain, Tyrone, or no, let me, Tyrone is Fontaine, bro. But let's say like keep it like this. Tyrone live in California, but he got clones in a city called Glen. And what and what it what it who is Tyrone? He's a drug dealer. He drinks, smoke. He a low vibrational being, basically. And he's destructive to his community. Let's be real. Gangsters, thugs, all that uh all that Enjoy this. Y'all are y'all are y'all are literally destroying our community. That's what you are. You are a parasite to the community. So Tyrone is a parasite to the community, and he got cloned, and his clone is literally a parasite in another city, basically. But you got to realize that's like people here today, because y'all all are the same person. You're not you're not doing anything but destroying your community. And selling drugs and, hurt, and killing everybody, basically, and slowly killing people. And it's y'all are everywhere. Y'all, y'all are the same individual. Y'all sell drugs and destroy the people. Y'all the same person. Y'all like clones, bro. And um, uh, literally, that's what they did to him. And whenever he died, or whenever the clone died, bro, they brought out, they rolled out another clone to literally keep destroying the black community. Let me, be, let me, bro, in that movie, the target is the black community. Why? Because that's what they do today. What do they, what have they done to us for all these years? They took over our land and murdered us off and mass murdered us. Drugged us up with all different type of food and water that they, that they poisoned and, you know, injected with all type of stuff. And, and, what, and what else they do to us? They, they, they promote toxic ratchet music to keep us down. Like that movie, and that's what they do in real life, and that's what they do in the movie. They they try to keep, they do everything they can to keep us down as black people, and they kept, and that's that's the point. They kept putting, they every time dude died, they kept planting him back into the city to keep destroying us, to keep destroying black people. And um, you how can you sit here and say that that's fake? Think about it, we got McDonald's, and they put human meat in McDonald's. They, they inject the McDonald's. McDonald's food don't get old. So what is they putting in it? 
Think about sugar. Sugar's like crack, bro. That shit kind of messes you up. So we, what about that? They, so how can you tell me any of this part of this movie is fake? So, so bro kept getting planted back into the city to keep destroying our community. So think about it. Once, think about all these drug dealers out here. Once one of them go down, somebody else is there to keep distributing the drugs. Oh, this king. Oh, like okay, it's gang warfare. And they and once gang mad that this dude bring all this money to this rival gang, they take him out. Not his gang. You know they about to they they all fucked up and the other people take over. It's the same thing. Once somebody die that that has been doing all this type of stuff, the next person will come around and, and keep it going. Because the programming does not stop. They it's always movies to tell you to do this. It's always music there to tell you to do this. Every time you hit the radio, 107. Now what you hear promoting drugs and music and promoting drug music, uh, mm, discussing sexual activities, all of that, bro. That's that's everything. So every time, that's like real life, bro. Every time, like even think about rappers. When you when a rapper fall off, okay, he was making this type of gangster music. He fell off. That don't, just because he fell off, that don't mean it will stop. They, they're gonna have a new rapper to promote the same stuff he promoted, and he gonna last for how long? And he gonna fade off. Then they're gonna have another person to do it. They'll have yet another person, and it's never going to end. Well, until we rev we have a revolution, but get what I'm saying. These negative things that are in place to take us down will, it will die off in a form, but it will always come right back. You feel me? Okay, think about the popular Popeye's chicken sandwich. Who, and think about in a movie, right? And think about the movie they had. They put some food. If you seen that one scene, they literally put food, or no, they gave out chicken, right? But they put some in the chicken to make everybody laugh, showing you. That they control us through fast food. They put human me in fast food. Don't you know? Don't you be hearing stories where people be in line for some food and they hurt hurt somebody just because they got the last one or some you know the weird stuff like that. They even showed you it on Boondocks. Motherfuckers will eat certain food and start tweaking. They be don't you be seeing them some weird stories where people kill people damn near kill somebody over a, a burger, a fast food burger. Like yeah, but that food. They put stuff in the food literally to make you tweak out. They got, it's scientifically proven, they got human DNA, animal DNA in the food. They inject it with all type of stuff. What do you think that's doing that's controlling us? That's messing us up even worse. They literally control everybody through the food. So what I want to say is, like, come on. That scene show, that, that scene literally show what they be doing. They control us with the food. They do everything they can. And think about the Popeye's chicken, chicken sandwich. That was a big thing. They did what they did. They rolled it out. It's gone. Then what was the next big thing? Well, me personally, this is what I seen. Then this is the Travis Scott burger, Travis, Travis Scott meal. Then when that's over, what's next? The Sweetie meal. Like it's gonna every time something dies, a new thing comes that will keep us stuck. And that's what. But we allow it. That but but that's what the movie was showing. Like every time dude died, he came back. Then the point was to keep us keep the people stuck. Right? Okay, this rapper made this type of music. He was a negative rapper. He just got killed off in the street. And then the new rapper comes in to keep going. The same low vibrational music will not stop. And it's thinking about music. Look at the music scene they showed in that movie. They was experimenting on two people that was fighting. They played rap music and they was experimenting on their brain. They played rap music. And when they was playing that, that toxic rap music about fighting their own black people, what was two black men doing? Fighting each other. Then when they put on a hug song, a peaceful song they got peaceful they control us through music this is why i don't even hop on a radio no more because they beat the same songs in your damn head until your ears fall off that promotes the same negative agenda literally it has to make us fight each other be at war with each other they're never going to promote revolutionary music they're going to keep promoting music to keep us fighting each other and keeping us stuck that's the whole point of the movie of they clone tyrone being stuck as black people being stuck, literally, they're gonna keep promoting, bro. Everything, all this mainstream stuff. They're not gonna, they're not gonna promote no music that promote um, self wellness, you know, mental health. Nothing, nothing that we need to really be listening to. It's gonna keep showing us um, songs that talk about twerking, you know, passing this female off or do. Tell you, they're trying to keep us stuck with things we do every day. You eat is something in there to keep you stuck.
you know, eating meat will literally make you mad, bro. It will make you irritated. It will make you agitated. It's scientifically proven that meat makes you mad. And then think about the extra stuff they put. They can control your mood with what you eat, money. Think about what else they were showing in the movie. You got the food that controls you. Then you got the music. Remember when they was listening to the music? And then the, the negative music made them go after the main characters? You can be controlled through your mute, through the music you play. If you keep, if you overplay, this is only if you're not aware of yourself, right? If you keep playing music that will, that promote gang violence, let's say you in a in a ghetto or whatever, we can't we can't control where we grow up at. But think about it. let's say you get you 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 find yourself there in your life, and you this might be all you know. But think about it. Think about it. this is all you know, and you keep hearing this music that promote drilling on your ops. And killing your ops, what are you gonna do? This is what you're gonna do that because this music is controlling you. This is all you know. You don't know nothing outside of that. It's the point. This is why they push it to you so deeply. They gonna, they gonna, they gonna. The music will control you to do what you don't want to do, for real, for real. Because every time these people do it, they go to jail and they don't want to be there. So it's like, what you know, like the hell. You was, you got pushed to do something that you honestly didn't want to deep down do, and wish you never had to do. So think about it. That's what music do. It controls us. So they got the food to control us, the music. And then my thing is, why do you think, what makes you think this is fake though? You see it happen every day. How many people kill each other in the, in the hood? How many people will kill each other every single day? And then the, who, every time they, kept, bruh, bruh, these rappers be getting locked up for murder cases. And think about it. They make songs manifesting their demise, but this is all they know because it's beating in their head. But think about it. They're being controlled because what they what they grew up in and the music that's being pushed to them, it's not peaceful. But when you see people making peaceful music, you don't see them going down for no fried stuff. You feel me? Think about what the power of music do. Think about the hurts, the energy that's being put in the music. It's literally controlling you. You feel me? This is why you got to be careful. This is why you got. This is why you don't even want to go to concerts with these rappers. Remember what happened at the Travis Scott concert? That negative, low frequency music he be making, all them people died, boy. But think about it. You got to be careful. With, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be tapped in with yourself before you put yourself to like libel or anything. But if you somebody that's not aware a lot of yourself, bro, you can be controlled. That's why you have to be aware of self so you can know your actions and be conscious about them. So look. The music we listen to is toxic, and it controls people. Whatever you want to think about it or not, think about. Okay, you put on a gangster song. You want? Oh, you want to? It, it make you turn up. Oh, I'm acting gangster. I'm acting hard. Like yeah, like you put on some King Von, right? And then you just like yeah, like it make you want to like yeah, go drill on somebody. You, you put on King Von. You want to go drill on your ops. You put on some like sleazy word go. You want to go drill on somebody. What like what? You want to bring your gun out and go do somebody. Then, then you go on the radio, you hear that, and okay, you turned up, you, oh, yeah, yeah, get that gap, get that strap. But then, what are they gonna play next? They're gonna play, uh, then they play, uh, a love song. Scissor, scissor, snooze. I can't lose when I'm with you. You don't feel like a gangster no more. You feel like you're a lover bird. You, you think about your girl. Like, you don't even think about your ops no more. You think about your girl. You want, or you think you think about it. Oh, I want to love on her. You know what I'm saying? I, you just start thinking about it. You just get in that love mood. Let's say she was in the car. You probably start touching. You start kissing. At first, you would just flash your pistol. And all oh, turn. Now you want to show love. You put your gun down. You start kissing on it. Think about it. Music will change your mind, literally. Music has the power to change your own mind. And the way they play on the radio will alter your mind, my nigga. After you hear the love song, then what you gonna play next? Uh, then what they gonna play next? They gonna play a song about being rich and overcoming your obstacles, a motivational song. They gonna play a song that represent making money, getting to the bag, and not letting haters tell you what um, they want to tell you. Or, you know, it's, just, it's a self-confidence song, motivation. Let me um, get some bread with it. Now, now knowing this, now now knowing you, you got some, you know what I'm saying, you got some money, you just got paid or something. Now you all, yeah, and let's get to the bag. You know what I'm saying? We about to change our life. We about to go up. We finna get rich. You just literally went through. You just literally went through three different moods that fast. And who controlled it? The people that make the who play the songs on the radio. 
they just literally made you be three different parts of yourself with just three different songs. And that's what I'm telling you. They control you through music. They can make you do what you, whatever they want you to, however they want you to act and be, they can do that through music. That's all they got to do, literally. And we and what are they doing? They making everybody ratchet, everybody outside themselves, everybody being nasty, thinking being a thought is cool, thinking about being a pimp is cool, thinking being a gangster is cool. Literally, <laughs> that's what they did. So don't stop. let's not say um, music is not con mind control. It is. But everything is mind control in the world we live in. But what is you going to let control your mind, though? You know, I make healing music, powerful music that help you take back your mind and choose whatever. You, like, it's about what you want to do and what you put your mind into. Because the mind will be addicted to, every, to anything. But you, it's about what you put put into your brain. But, but yeah, when it comes to the clones and stuff, think about it. Everybody is like clones of each other. Retards and idiots. It's like these dummies out here that's out here destroying our community, selling drugs to everybody, doing all this, that, and the third. I mean, I, you can't knock where somebody came from, but we just got to keep it a being. Like, that lifestyle is tearing us down every level possible. And then everybody eating the fast food. Like, everybody clones of each other, enjoying the lifestyle of bringing us down and bringing they self down. If you bring yourself down, you can only bring other people down because you're not even good yourself. So what can you offer to the next? You feel me? So, bro, that movie literally showed, like, bro, everybody's, like, a clone of each other. And it's like everybody's robots and easily manipulated. When it was in that, when it was in that club, they got manipulated by music because they're not aware of themselves. They don't have control over self. But I'm trying to reword it to a, a way you can understand it in, a, in life now. Because those people were clones. But think about it to now. People, we literally live in that right now. You can be in a club and they can sit here and play a slow jam. Everybody gets slow and start loving on their boo. And then they can play a killing song and next thing you know, the whole, whole club gets shot up. Or everybody all gangster and, you know, they can literally control you, my nigga. So it, how can this be movie be fake anyway? But because everybody's like clones. Everybody can be manipulated by something that's not even a lot to take over you. Like, you feel me? Like, everybody, like, bro, it's clones are here today. Even rappers be clones, though. But this movie's deeper with that because, like, everybody's like clones of each other, of being retarded and not in control of self. You feel me? You mind control because you're not aware of what you're living in. You're not aware of yourself or what you, you are. So it's easy to manipulate you. You feel me? And that's what we. That's what the movie showed. And, and the white man in that movie literally show, explained it for, for the world to be how they want it. This is what they got to do control us and we play a huge piece of making the, this world what they want and what they crave which is power that don't even read that don't even make sense you feel me but he even explained it so so that movie got all type of deep stuff on it. even at the end the revolutionary the revolution came we need to do that right now like my name you think they're not really doing this they got deep they have deep underground military bases where they Research on aliens. They do MK Ultra down there. Like what? They do all. Hold up. I don't know who calling me, but they do all types. Of, they do MK Ultra down there in the basements. They experiment on animals. Experiment on people. Experiment on people's mind. That's what they show in the movie. They experiment on somebody's mind. Do MK Ultra. They do. They do all of this in real life. Look up deep underground military bases. You know how many military bases they got underground, my nigga. They have a lot, my nigga. That's a lot of space underground. You don't think they really out here doing this? This is where they do rituals at. You don't think they got secret doors under these temples, my nigga? Like under like churches and like certain Freemason churches. You, you like and Masonic lodges. Like come on, my, come on now. But they do all type of stuff behind our back, under us. You feel me? But it just surprised me how people don't think this stuff is real. But what's another thing in that movie though? movie was 10 out of 10 in my opinion it was actually raw and i actually enjoyed it you feel me you got to pay attention to what you eat you feel me of course everything poison but let's stop eating fast food because that's the most targeted so you know eat something healthy here and there so you got to pay careful what you eat you got to be careful what you watch on tv you got to be careful what you indulge in you gotta you just got to be careful of everything you do like you feel me because it's a world they literally told you in the movie, but think about it. When they uh, at the end, them people came up, the black people came up, and they tapped in, and they was on their revolutionary shit. 
And we niggas need to do that because how could you think this movie is fake when it's proof that this happens every day, which I just told you this stuff happens every day. So all the drugs that we got in our community, they give it to us. So I don't know what you think this is, all the crack, all the meth, all that stuff. They give it to us. And then they tell us they want us to distribute it. Then we go to jail for it. So it's just a, a way to take us out. You feel me? Either kill us or lock us up and just make sure we in a loop that we can never. And now if you watch the movie, you get to tell. You can see the dude kept waking up in a loop every time after he died or whatever. Like he would wake up in the same situation over and over because that's what they're trying to give us. The same situation over and over that you cannot get out of. How can you like think about how hard it is to break from the music that's negative, the food that's negative, and then the people around you that's negative. Like think about how hard that is. It's a loop they want to keep you in. I used to work at a gas station. I seen people in this loop. Duh. Everybody like clones. They do the same thing. And they're in a loop that will never end because they never will become conscious of self. So when you become conscious of self, that's when you're able to break doors and start doing what the fuck you want to do. Because they think about it, you're not doing what you want to do. Think about the music situation. They can play 10 different songs and you can, they can grab 10, 10 different moods out of you. And then after you think, think about the songs I was just telling you, then after, what if they play a depression song? Now you're thinking about your life. Think about what if they play, uh, like after they play the motivation song, they start playing uh, No Cap. Um, ghetto angels now you think now you sad thinking about your people that passed away now this is not me knocking these songs but think about it and these stuff can alter you literally and they can do however they want to do it because they're controlling the station so be be mindful of just what you do in your life bro and ask yourself is this what you want to do or is something making you not make you making you want to do you feel me and don't be out here being a clone my nigga a clone is a, is a copy of something that doesn't have awareness of itself. And that's what everybody is. Not being a copy of somebody else a f and they're a fab fabricated image and they're not being themselves. That's literally what everybody is today. And my thing is that we don't need to be that. Be yourself. This movie was hella deep, bruh. You know what I'm saying? We got to take down the white man. Obviously, they're the enemy. They're making a slave to live. We got... They make money, they give it to us, and we slave. No, they make money, we slave for it, we get it, and we pay it right back, which is bills. So, yeah, what we got to do is stop all that. They're the enemy, whatever you want to think about it or not, they are. And a lot of people do be, a lot of people do be, uh, I guess you would say, they're not denying that, but it's the truth. And whether you want to believe it or not, that's on you, you know what I'm saying? The proof is there everywhere. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Like... It's not even no point of always trying to explain it to people because people just act fraud. Because y'all are clones, you feel me? But, but yeah, like I was saying, bro, be aware of what you do. Be aware of who you are. And that's what the movie was trying to tell you. If you're not aware, even, if, even though Fontaine Tyrone was a clone, he became aware and tried to switch. Like, you feel me? But then he kind of was like giving up, but he tried to switch. So that's the thing. Be aware. And switch because we all start off clone we damn near because that's how the system they want you to fail but if you like this video tap in